We're in the city of Havana today for the sesquicentennial parade, the celebration of the 150th anniversary of the incorporation of the city of Havana. There's a large crowd gathering and we're going to have a spectacular parade here starting down the streets in just a few moments. The town of Havana, according to city records, was incorporated under an act dated 1853. Trustees at that time were N.J. Rockwell, S.E. Rogers, William Higby, James Boggs, and Joseph F. Brenner. The history of Havana goes back even further. OCNM Ross had the site where Havana now stands surveyed in 1827. A ferry was established at the river in 1823 and was kept for Ross by James Holcomb. And Havana was known as Ross Ferry. The first building built in Havana was built by Major Ross in 1829 and remembered as the Ross Hotel. Many of you will remember Havana from the years past and from the famous Centennial Parade held in 1953, which is a part of this tape series. We hope that you enjoy today's parade and thank you for coming. Well, I'm here now with Dan Pitcher, who if he looks a little harried today, he should because he is the chairman of this entire event. He's been the chairman of the 150 committee for all the planning and activities that have taken place over the course of the last year or so. And Dan, when did you start with this, with this operation? Well, actually about three years ago, in uh, 2001, I think. And would you estimate the number of volunteers that have been involved in trying to put this whole production for this weekend and this year together? That, that's my biggest problem. I have no idea. It's just, it's just amazing. I, I asked people for help and they gave it. I said, why don't we do this? And it was done. Uh, and the biggest problem that we have right now is trying to make a list of everybody and figure out who all helped. <laughs> it's just tons of people, everybody. I'm sure it's gratifying to see a community pull together like this and put on a production that happens only once every 50 years and to try to reach some of the heights that they reached in 1953. Well, we hope that uh, we got as high as 53 and maybe a little better. I, um, it looks really great. It's just, it's just super. It's all coming together well and, and everything's great. Well, Dan, on behalf of the community, I'd sure like to thank you for all of your efforts over the past several years in getting this operation put together, getting the funds raised, and organizing and pulling it all together here. Looks like we've got a great day for a parade, some good weather, and it's just about time to start. So we'll let you get back to work. Thank you very much, Dan. Thank you. We're now with Wendy Martin, who is the editor of the Mason County Democrat, and Wendy's been a part of the planning committee for this parade. And Wendy, we want to talk a little bit about some of the planning process that's taken place here and some of the folks that have been involved. Uh, how long has this planning taken place here? Well, the planning started more than a year ago. Uh, Becky Silva is the chairman of this committee, and the thing she wanted more than anything else was to have bands and have lots of music in the parade. So she had to start sending letters out over a year ago. Who is in charge of the weather for today's parade? I, I don't know the answer to that one, but they did a really good job, if we can just hold it up for one more day. And what do you have to say about Dan Pitcher, who has pulled together the entire event for this weekend, not just the parade, but all the activities? It has just been an incredible job that he's done. So many different things to keep track of. Uh, we we started three years ago, uh, starting with planning what kind of things we could do for the sesquicentennial. Then we had to raise money. We spent a whole year raising money for it and then getting this done. And of course, the nuts and bolts, making sure that the parking is there and uh, all the rest of it. It's been quite a job. Well, it's sure been exciting watching the citizens of Havana pull together to make this event happen. The weather's cooperated, and it looks like it's going to be a great crowd for the parade and the other activities that are going on. So we appreciate your efforts within that, and we're going to get Dan on camera here in a minute and talk to him. Great. Thanks very much. Yeah, it's, uh, the community has really been the best part of it. Everybody's pulled together and, and done something to help. So. Great. Thank you, Wendy. Okay, we have a couple of special citizens from Havana here with us. We've met along the parade route. There'll be no strangers to anyone who's from Havana, John and Anna Lou McGrew, and we're going to chat with them a little bit here before the parade starts. Now, Anna Lou, you have uh, another claim to fame in that when you were a little girl, you cut the ribbon on the bridge over the river. Is that correct? That is correct. I cut it on the original bridge, and I cut it when they rededicated it a few years ago. Well, that's quite an accomplishment. Now, are you going to do this when the next bridge is opened here as well? I certainly well? hope so. And both of you were here for the 1953 parade. Is that correct, John? Yes, yes yeah. We, uh, we stood through all of it, just like we're standing now. I seem to recall seeing some pictures of you. And it, I think you were in a little different costume at that time. Is that correct? Yeah, a little a derby in those days, you know, and a black coat. And a beard. Now, both of you grew up in Havana. Is that correct? Correct. Yes. 
What are your recollections of Havana when you were smaller and from the time you were growing up? I think Peggy covered it pretty well. There are a lot of the businesses that are no longer here, and we viewed the parade from right up stairs over what is now Occasions, which at that time was Simple Hardware Store, which a lot of people will remember. So we had a very good vantage point. Well, great. It looks like we've got a nice day for a parade, and we thank you for stopping by and talking with us. Well, we're going to gather here in the city of Havana for the 150th celebration at the parade, and we're going to talk to a few of the folks along the parade route before it starts. What is your name, please? Peggy Shirley Spencer. And Peggy, I understand that you were here in 1953 for the parade for the Centennial Celebration. Yes, I was. I was about five years old at the time. What recollections do you have of that parade? Uh, just the ladies wearing the old dresses and, and uh, standing over here on a side street watching the parade. And how did the weather compare back then to what we, this beautiful day we have today? I think it was a fairly nice day if I rem as I remember. <laughs> what do you think has changed the most about Havana since you were here as a child? A lot of the stores on Main Street here. Um, I can remember two theaters, B's Restaurant, where a lot of teenagers hung out. Well, great. Hope you enjoy the parade today and glad you came back to town. Okay, we're going to speak with a couple of youngsters along the parade route here today. And what is your name, young lady? Kelsey Hine. And Kelsey, how old are you? Nine. What grade will you be in when we go back to school this year? Fourth. Do you like Havana? Yeah. And how do you like the thought of this parade here today? Um... I like it a lot. Okay, and what is your name? Maddie Martindale. And Maddie, what, how old are you and what grade will you be in? Ninth and I'll be in fourth grade. You're both going to be in the fourth grade and you're pretty good friends, I'll bet, with each other. Yeah. Are you looking forward to seeing the parade today? Yeah. What do you think of something that's 150 years old? That's pretty old, isn't it? Mm -hmm. um. I bet you don't know anything that's that old, do you? No. Okay. Well, you girls enjoy the parade today, and someday, a lot of time from now, you'll be able to look at this, and people will remember what you were like when you were little girls. Thanks for stopping by. Okay, we got some more young folks here in Havana. What is your name, and how old are you? Clinton Richardson, and I'm 12 years old. Uh, Caleb Yetter, and I'm 13 years old. Ashley Trimpany, I'm 13 years old. Okay, we've got some teenagers here. What do you guys think of something that's 150 years old, like Havana is, this year? It's like my grandma. You think your grandma's 150 years old? Uh, it's pretty old. Okay, that's kind of an exciting thing. Do you guys like to go to parades? Sure, whenever I can. Okay, and do any of you have any other role that you're doing here today in the activities that are going on in Havana? I'm selling water for the Havana Lady Ducks basketball. Very good. So there's an awful lot of people here in town. I bet you haven't seen this many people on Main Street for a long time. Thanks for stopping by, kids. We hope you enjoy the parade. Okay, two more youngsters here along the parade route in Havana. What is your name and how old are you, please? Brittany Nelson, and I'm 11 years old. Macy Wren, and I'm 10 years old. And what grade are you girls going to be in in school this year? Fifth grade. Fifth grade. What do you think is your favorite part of a parade? Um, you get to watch the uh, floats and you get candy. You get to watch the floats and you get candy. I didn't know about that candy part. And what's your favorite part of a parade? Getting the candy. Okay, it looks like we've got a couple of candy eaters here. Girls, thank you for coming by, and we hope you enjoy the parade.
going, hon. Keep going, honey. <laughs> 11 years old. Uh, Laura says the stroller is as old as the mother.
Alta Onion Blue, born in 1983. She is a great grandmother of Deborah Boone Williams. What a great way to celebrate my 10th birthday today. Happy birthday. Happy 10 years old, Nicole Hall. Another thing is, anyone would like to stay around, we are going to take the doll buggy parade down through town to Plum and back up here. That's anyone that would like to parade down through town. Anyone that's going to be in the big parade. Thank you. 
If you want to. Yes. 